Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to check out some brand new structures and I think it involves the noob versus pro versus hacker and the ultimate which I think is going to be super cool today. So let's go speak to the villager and let's go see how we can help. Hello Navid, some new players have moved into the village, but rather than building a house, they have built underground. Check out their underground houses and let us know if they have any dangerous items. Wait, you want us to go ahead and head down all of these ladders? Okay, that's going to be a little bit scary for me. But to ease us into it, I think we should go down the noobs one first. So if anything is down there, it should be pretty basic to go ahead and destroy. So let's go and have a look at the noobs house and we should be pretty safe. Cool, it looks pretty awesome. And I can see everything is made out of dirt and is very basic down here. But I did notice he has an obsidian chest full of some wonderful items. Let me go ahead and take everything out and let's go see what they do. I have a feeling whatever he has is going to be really simple, but I think it's still going to be really awesome. And look, we're holding a villager corpse. Well, villagers, so far it looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to go ahead and test out every single one of these items. But guys, before we get started, it'll be really awesome if every single one of you went down below and you press the red subscribe button. And the villagers are telling us to not forget to also press the notifications bell. So let's start spawning these items and let's go see what they do. I did notice they've gone ahead and given us a zombie outfit, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. And it's given us night vision. But I know it doesn't stop there. The golems are slowly by slowly starting to wander while we're holding a villager. So let me go ahead and put it right around here. Let me do the burning stake and let's add our villager corpse, which I think is going to be so sad. Oh, this is awful. A villager is now suffering. How about we do the gibbet and let me put this one down with another villager corpse. Perfect. <laughs> slowly by slowly, it's going to look super strange that the zombie is going ahead and doing these things. As well as taking out every single one of these other items, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Let me go ahead and test out this woodcutter's delight that I'm going to spawn right in the middle of this forest. I have a feeling it will go ahead and chop down all the trees, which is going to be absolutely crazy. Let me spawn it right here. Let's go ahead and light it. And I'm doubting it's going to explode. It's just going to get rid of all the trees around us. You ready? Perfect! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. And it was so much better than I expected. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. And I also think if we dig down a little bit. And good. And let me just go ahead and figure out if it works with the next one. Here we go. We found stone. Let's do the miner's delight. Let's light it and let's go and see what happens. I think it's going to go ahead and mine away all the stone blocks. Did it work? Perfect. <laughs> Whoa, it did a massive area. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all of these cobblestone blocks now. Um, let's get out of here before he goes ahead and takes over our inventory, which already is. Perfect. Now that I've blocked it off and no one should fall down there, I think we're pretty safe. Let me go ahead and start spawning these monsters so all the noobs all the way to the ultimate can go ahead and see it. Let me do the spider pig. I'm perfect. And it's a combination of a spider and a pig. I doubt he's dangerous, so I think we're safe for now. Ugh, this is gross. And the way he's jumping around and galloping with his two pig legs is so awesome. How about we spawn the next one, which is the lantern. Cool. This is awesome. Now, I don't think he's dangerous, so I'm just going to go ahead and take out our pistol and maybe just let him be. Should we destroy him or not? I'm a little bit doubtful right now. Let's keep on going, though, and let me do the polar wolf. Mm. Ah! <laughs> what is this thing? It's basically a super fat wolf. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with him. Maybe if we go ahead and do a starting house, he might like this very much. Let me do this right there, and let's just build our starter's house, and hopefully this should be good enough for us. This is the better house than the noob could ever have. And basically, there's enough space in it to store all those cobblestones down below. Do you know what? This is awesome. Let me spawn the squid creeper right inside. I'm perfect. And I think this is a noob mob. <laughs> no! And we now have blindness. Ah, oh, This is not working whatsoever. Let's also spawn a creeper minion, which is a baby creeper. Okay, and it's literally destroyed everything we just put in. But I think so far, this has been pretty awesome. Let's get out of here and let me go ahead and do the flatter TNT, which I'm going to spawn in the distance over here as soon as our blindness disappears, which should only last for a few more seconds. Let me put it right here. 
Let's go ahead and wait a few more seconds, and then we can go ahead and light it. And let's go and see what it does. Perfect! It should flatten literally everything in the whole area. Let's go and see if it works. Come on! It has to work! I don't think it's gone ahead and done anything yet. <laughs> there we go! It's gotten rid of everything that was slightly above the TNT. And it's done it in a giant area. But now's the chance to go ahead and get rid of the lantern as well as the spider pig. I think slowly by slowly they could turn evil. But we are down now to our next one. Let's go and do the pro. Sorry, pro! <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Let's head down and let's go and see what his house looks like. Cool! No wonder they've dug underground. It looks so awesome. And we can use the locker to go ahead and throw in all the items from the noob. I don't think it's going to miss them very much. Let me just throw them all in. And perfect. And let's take out whatever's inside this crystal chest. Whoa! We have another chest that's completely full. Okay, let's take all these items out. And perfect. As well as all the diamond items, which I think is going to be pretty cool. And let's go see what all of these do. Now, we really got to hurry up because we still got the hacker as well as the ultimate to try out. So let me throw on this whole TNT outfit, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. And good. And let's go see if it works. Here we go! Perfect! It does work! Okay, let's be super careful. And right in the center, I'm going to go ahead and add our stocks with our MC Naveed! Oh, this is awful! Who would have thought today we'd be going ahead and putting ourselves in some stocks? Okay, I'm going to need a mutant snowman to go ahead and protect my body. And hopefully we can go ahead and change things up with the mutant creeper! Perfect. <laughs> and let's go see if this works. Let me take out these items and hopefully we should be able to do this. Let's use our taser. And good. Ah! It's one of those minions. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we can actually go ahead and take out some weapons that we literally don't even have at the moment. And let's just go ahead and fight him. Ah, oh, no wonder the mutant snowman isn't going to help us right now. I don't think he's loving this very much. Maybe we are pressing the wrong things. I could go ahead and use our attacks against him. So let's go and see if this works. Here we go. Perfect and good. Ah, oh, it's not working. Perfect. Let's keep going now and let's not try and give up. I'm just going to have to go ahead and keep on blowing ourselves up for now. And I think he's going to hate this very much. <laughs> Who would have thought that would have happened today? Okay, let's try and rush back as fast as we can. And hopefully this should work without blowing ourselves up. I'm actually going to take out this TNT, which is the Bunker Buster. And let me just spawn it right here. And let's go and see if this works. Whoop! Okay, there we go. Did it work? Perfect! It's taking him all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> okay, I think he's going to be so mad right now. Maybe we can go ahead and send a few TNTs down. Let me do the water absorption, which will only go ahead and basically get rid of all the water if there's any down below. And I don't think there is. Well, I think it's disappeared. So I think we're safe for now. Okay, let's get out of here because I think for now we are completely in the good. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the rest of the items, which for now I won't need any of these diamond items. I think we're all good. Which will also mean we don't need the taser, the cobblestone, but we do need the rest of the items. So let's go ahead and let's spawn this watchtower and let's go and see what happens. I'm going to spawn this one right here. Let's go ahead and build it. And perfect. And let's head inside. Hello! This is definitely a pro's house because he has the best view in the whole town where he can go ahead and fight any single mob that will go ahead and try and attack him. But guys, let's go ahead and keep on going and let's get out of here so we can go ahead and spawn the magic trapped house, which I'm actually going to do right in the center here. So let's spawn it and perfect. And there we go. It's gone ahead and spawned a wonderful house with some basic traps around. Do you know what? This is way better than I expected. And I could go ahead and throw in all the items we no longer need. And to keep things very interesting, let me spawn a couple of these diamond ore TNTs. And what they will do is once someone stands on them and they try and dig them, they will go ahead and blow up. It's going to work. Okay, I'm going to leave them there for now. There will be a good trap against someone and basically troll them forever. Let me spawn the next magic trapped house, which is basically covered in cactuses, <laughs> which looks so awesome. Ah, oh, we messed up on this front one. But you know what? This is way better than I could have ever expected. Let me go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the moderate house. And let's go see what this one does. The pro has the most coolest items. Let me just build this first one and let's go see what it looks like. Hello? 
Anyone here? This is one of the biggest houses I've ever seen. And I think there's enough space for all the villagers to go ahead and move in. And there is even a chest in the background there. Let me just keep on going and let's go and do the final item, which is the gravitational TNT, which I'm going to spawn right here. Oh, it's dragging everything towards us. Hopefully it won't drag the noob and the pro towards us as well. But let's get out of here as fast as we can so we can go ahead and enter the hacker's house. Whoops, <laughs> we are so close to demolishing this whole area. Let's head down, let's take off these items, and let's go ahead and see what the hacker has. Cool, he's even been able to bring bedrock up to the real world. Okay, let me take out all these items. Let me also throw in these items that I won't be probably using anymore. And hopefully these next few things should be pretty cool. I'm going to have to do them though as fast as we can because we're running out of time. Let me do the bedrock full outfit, which is going to be absolutely insane. Which basically means no one is ever going to be able to attack us. And let me add these cameras scattered all the way around the village. So we can pretty much have a look at what's going on. So we've got one, two... And then the third one right around here. And let me throw on the rest of the bedrock outfit. Whoa! We even have ultimate hearts. Okay, let me keep on going. And let me do the mutant zombie that I might do near the snow golem. And then finally, Baraka the sun chief. This is going to be one of the fastest battles ever. Let me do him right around here. Let's go see if it works. Perfect. Is it working? Whoa! Let me go and use my alien blaster to go ahead and fight him. And hopefully both of us together should be able to go ahead and destroy him as fast as we can. Get him, Snow Golem! Perfect! <laughs> hopefully we should be able to do him together. Yes, it's working. And let's also use our energy shield that should make this so much better for us. Is it going to work? Come on, it has to go ahead and destroy him. Now, he's getting away from us. Perfect and good. <laughs> Hopefully his attention's on us. But for some reason, our bedrock outfit isn't defending us too well. Let me take out this Tesla gun and let me take out a few of these other spawners and let's go and see what happens. Whoop, okay, maybe I can leave them to fight. Let me do the bedrock golem and I think we should be safe. Whoop. Wait, Bedrock Golem, you're supposed to help us. Okay, maybe if we rush away, we should be able to do this. Bedrock Golem, stay right there. <laughs> maybe we can use our Tesla gun to go ahead and fight him. There we go. But we have just gone ahead and destroyed all of our friends. Uh, let me just do the Phantom Diver at the same time and let's go see what happens. There we go. Hopefully this should be able to go ahead and be used. Yes, we've done it. This is so great. But let's just finish it off with the Baraco the Sun Chief so we can head to all the nicer stuff. Ah, I hate this monster. Let's go and do this. Perfect. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Perfect. We've destroyed him so quick. Ah, oh, that was absolutely insane. Maybe next time we can go ahead and spawn some friendlier monsters. Let me do the fair, which is a free fall live structure, and let's go see what the hacker has. I think the hacker has the most coolest items ever. Whoop! Okay, we've definitely messed up. Whilst we wait, like, we can go ahead and take out the rest of our items that I think should be pretty cool. Let's spawn back, and perfect! Whoa! This is one of the tallest structures I've ever seen, and I'm pretty sure it's a live one, and it will go ahead and move as you go along. Let me swap my item out so we can go ahead and try it, and let's go ahead and do this. With our ghast outfit, we should be able to go ahead, fly around, and we should be able to shoot things, but it's not working. Maybe we could just go ahead and do this later. Let me spawn the toxic sludge. I'm perfect. <laughs> and he's destroying our whole world. Okay, let me take my Tesla gun back out. And perfect. Good. Now he has made the whole area super toxic. Um, this is not a good idea. I am going to have to leave our black hole TNT as well as our world buster right to the end. Because these TNTs would destroy our whole world. Let me just take out the last two, which is an air balloon. So let me just go ahead and do this right around here. And let's go and see what happens. Is it working? Oh, please type a distance in blocks that you'd like to fly. So I wrote 70 in. So I'm guessing it's going to go 70 blocks into the sky. Oh, there it goes. And it's moving. The hacker has definitely outdone himself. How about we do the double decker bus? Let me uh, go ahead and do this as well. And perfect. And it wants us to go ahead and type the distance in again. 
I'm going to write in 60 for this one. So we'll now have two moving structures that will go ahead and work basically forever. <laughs> this is going to be so insane. And I think once it lands, it will try and go ahead and be pretty awesome as well. And there goes the bus. Who would have thought today we would have so many moving structures and it'll basically take over our world. Do you know what? I'm now looking forward to figuring out what the ultimate has. So let me just make my way down and let's go and see if he's hiding any blocks of us. Hacker, this was the coolest thing ever. Let me make my way down and let's go and do this. Whoa, this is so awesome. But we are running out of time, so let's do this as fast as we can before it logs us out of our world. Let's throw all these items in and perfect. And let me take out this quartz outfit as well as this diamond bone sword. Cool. And let's go and see what we look like. Perfect and good. <laughs> now, apparently this outfit is super powerful. So let's go ahead and test it out. For this one, I'm just probably going to spawn a few of these items because we have used up everything right now. And the villagers are getting super fed up with us. So I'm just going to spawn everything as fast as we can. Let me go ahead and start off with the Illusion Aghast, which I'm going to spawn right around here. And perfect. Ah! Quickly! Let's get out! Let me do this as fast as we can. <laughs> Hopefully this nuclear death ray should be able to go ahead and destroy them. And we should be safe. Perfect! One done. Is there one more? Um, oh, I think he's around there somewhere. But I can't seem to figure out where he is. He must be invisible. There goes the Gas Shulker. And let me do the Squid Gas. And perfect. <laughs> okay, this whole world's going to turn to a disaster right now. Maybe things will be better if I can go ahead and make it right over here. Come on. And there we go. We now got the squid cast. <laughs> this is going to be absolutely mental. Let me spawn also the mutant skeleton. And let's also go ahead and quickly do the nether gate that I'm going to spawn right here. Let's build it. And there it goes. Cool. Now we had a flint and steel. I think we'll be able to go ahead and light this and head to the nether. But for now, we're completely without it. Perfect. Keep going. Yes. Okay, let's go fight him. No, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Ah, oh, what a disaster. But so far, we've literally almost done everything. Let me also do the shulker gas. I'm perfect. <laughs> and let's run for our lives. Ah, oh, this is going to be absolutely mental. I don't think we're going to be able to survive this whatsoever. Well, guys, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and end it here because we've spent so long and the villagers are getting so upset. Let me just do the ender gateway and let me just build this as fast as we can. And I think we're all set. So, guys, next time, probably we'll have to go ahead and spend more time testing out all these items. But for now, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And once it stops chasing me, we'll be able to go ahead and end everything. So, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.